Hello and welcome to Yak Wax Lips. My name is Michael, your point and click adventurer, and this is episode 9 of Let's Play Tales of Monkey Island. In the previous episode, I love the fact that he just keeps hitting himself, that's brilliant. In the previous episode, we got off um, the island, Flotsam Island, and we're finally in our own boat. Thankfully, so uh, yeah, let's have a look at what we've got to do. I have, I have installed on the advice of, um, I think it was Alex in the comments, and I have installed episode 2, or should I say chapter 2. Which makes me think that I'm coming to the end of this chapter. Kind of does feel like it's towards the end of it. Right, map. It's low. Shut up. Set a course for here. Hey. Whoa. Ow. Ah, oh, we can't even point to where we want to go. Let's go down here instead. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Or later tonight. <laughs> Still think that's funny. Let's do it again. It's low. Shut up. Set a course for here. Ah, hey. it's not going to happen. Whoa. All right. Ow. Well, he does not like that, does he? All right. Let's go up the mast. That's the main mast of the Screaming Narwhal. Or main tree. Nothing like a deafening cannon discharge to clear the mine. This hand is, is um, it's quite aggressive. Tar barrel, maybe it's that. Mm, this tar might be useful. Ow! Oh, I can't actually do anything. All right, do we have anything in our, in our inventory? Weather vane, ancient tool, ancient door face, humanity thing, YouTube, flyer, map, locket. I mean, we can't actually use it with our hand, can we? Can't, like, use anything. No. Okay. This tar might be useful. I didn't mean to do that. Get off, Guybrush. Hmm. Okay. Let's go up the stairs. Talk to um. Talk to what's what's his name? Captain on deck. Ah. Oh, we've done something. Um, let's let's go down. Let's go down. Tar. Maybe we have to open the tar and stick our hand to the floor. That's one strong barrel. Cannon. Maybe the cannon bashes into the back of the tar. Yeah, there we go. That's just swell. My brand new ship's all covered with tar. This is all your fault, you know. Ow. All right, let's go back over here then. I think we have to stick our hand to it. Hey, I bet this sticky puddle of tar would be perfect for trapping my evil hand. Well, I guess I shouldn't have tipped my um, hand. <laughs> well, we ended up on the floor when we did this, didn't we? So let's try this again. Winslow, Captain, just go where I point. Oh, come on! Ugh, stupid box hand! Ugh. Yo! What's yeah, the... there you go. Um, I bet we can't reach the map now. Can't reach Tar's sticking <laughs> failing. Yes, I'm stuck. All right. Um, can we use this like this stick or something? Yep, I'm stuck. Um, put the tar? Yep, I'm stuck. Okay, let's get rid of that and talk to him. Mr. Winslow, make way for... <laughs> the Rock of Gelato. Aye, aye, Captain. And get me some grog for this hand. Hey, <laughs> that, that tune, theme tune. I think that might be the end. No. Finally, the Rock of Gelato. Now to find Elaine. Mr. Van Winslow, my spyglass. Aye, aye, sir. Huh. Elaine's ship looks pretty good, considering that it was exploding the last time I saw it. But where's my ship? And Elaine? Is she out looking for me? Is she still in the Chuck's clutches? Is her beautiful bloated corpse slowly rotting at the bottom of the... Hey! What's that? Winslow, enhance the upper right quadrant 50%. 
That's my ship. Winslow, full enhancement. Elaine, I'm coming, Plunder Bunny. Wait, what's that? Oh no, it's LeChuck. Elaine, look out! Plunder Bunny? Guybrush Threepwood. I've been waiting a long time for this. Um, could you wait a little longer? Ah, dun dun dun, to be continued in chapter two, The Siege of Spinnakay. And we're going to do that um, right now. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to let these uh, credits roll. I'm literally just going to end it now and then start the next one straight away because I think a five minute episode is just a little bit too short. Right, so um, I'll see you guys in a sec. Just like magic, we are back. It has been said, what fates impose that men must need abide. It boots not to resist both wind and tide. Yet, Guybrush Treepwood has somehow managed to turn the tides of fate by removing the voodoo curses from his nemesis, Lechuk. Infected himself, Guybrush escaped the scientific experiments of the Marquis de Sange and managed to divert the ill winds of change, an action which could alter his own fate as well as the fate of the entire Caribbean. That is, if he lives long enough. <laughs> Guybrush Threepwood. I've been waiting a long time for this. Now, wait a minute. I'm sure there's been some mistake. I don't even know you. Well, allow me to introduce myself. I am Morgan LaFlay, mighty pirate hunter. My name is feared across the Seven Seas. I've taken down some of the most hardened, grog-guzzling scumbags from here to Zanzibar. It's an honor to finally face off against the legendary Guybrush Threepwood. LaFlay? But you're a woman. I thought... Wait, you've heard of me? Have I heard of you? Guybrush Threepwood, the pirate who destroyed the ghost pirate LeChuck single-handedly? Who discovered the mythical treasure of Big Wolf? Who escaped the inescapable Carnival of the Damned? I've been following you my whole life! Wow. Don't be too flattered. I'm here for the job. The Marquis de Singe wants that hand of yours, so I'm bringing you in. And don't even try your insult sword fighting technique on me. That's something only farm boys use these days. How appropriate! You fight like a cow- <laughs> oh! Using that. Oh, this is gonna be good. Pick up your sword and face me like a man. Like you're a man or like I'm a man? I'm God. <laughs> Have I just had my hand chopped off? <laughs> that was interesting. Right, I am literally fighting. Um, I want to do insult sword fighting. I don't want to do real sword fighting. How did you get on my ship anyway? I simply grappled aboard while you were busy staring out at the sunset. You aren't very observant, you know. By the way, my grapple hook got stuck, so you owe me a new one. Um, right. Do we just have to keep talking to her? Seagull. I can't reach it from here. Okay. Let's leave the seagull. Hey, where's Winslow? You better not have hurt him, you salty sea witch! <laughs> salty fine. sea witch! I just got him tied up in the main quarters. Keep your head in the fight. Don't worry about me, Captain. I am sure I can wriggle my way out of these ropes eventually. Oh, it's me. I thought I was just—I was just watching. I was enjoying the fight. <laughs> right, can I get the seagull now? I'm quite near. Oh, the grappling Shoot. hook. Get away. Get the grappling hook. Oh, he's back. You climbed onto my ship with this? Where's the rope part? Well, obviously I kept the rope. You wouldn't believe the number of situations a length of rope comes in handy for. Haha, <laughs> very for good. For example, using it to tie up your first mate. Yeah? Well, I'm keeping the hook. Go ahead. I'll just take it back after I kill you. Hey, get off my hand, stupid bird. Uh, I guess I can't. Oh, I can do the inventory. Let's use the bird on the bird. A little too busy for that right now. Okay, yeah. Let's talk to her some more. Why 
are you taking orders from that Desinge guy anyway? He's clearly one loony doctor. He's got lampreys in his lighthouse. I'm a mercenary. It's what I do. Once hired, I won't quit till the job is done. Even if it means taking down a pirate as renowned as yourself. Renowned? I didn't even realize I was now. <laughs> I'm renowned, not just nouned. Oh, right, we've got back up here. Turn the wheel. Barrel of fish. Hmm, that's probably got a... Uh, right, I bet I've got to cut that rope. Where am I? Right, can I see the rope? But I've got to cut that rope so the barrel of fish goes across here. Hmm, how do we get down there then? Aren't you getting tired yet? Not a chance. I train myself by studying your moves. I can match you blow for blow. Heck, I can even hold my breath for five minutes, just like you. Ha! Huh. I can hold my breath for ten minutes. You mean that's true? I thought the stories were exaggerated. Impressive. Right, I'm down here. Let's. We need to cut. Yeah, we need to cut that rope. Looks like those bits of rope are securing that barrel in place. That's the mast of my ship, the screaming narwhal. Yes, I know what a mast is. <laughs> um, no, I wanted to click on the. <laughs> Let's click on the cannon. The cannon isn't pointed at her. Besides, ah. aiming at things actually on my ship is probably not a good idea. Okay, let's go down here. Winslow, are you okay? Quite well, sir. I'm sure I'll be up in these ropes and out to help you in no time. <laughs> we need to cut this rope. I can't get up the mast. What what have I got that I can use on her? Um, the hook. The hook is great for grabbing things. Not so good in a sword fight. Maybe the oh, maybe let's use use it with this. I'm a little too busy for that right now. Okay. That's the mast. Yes, you mentioned that. <laughs> it's quite funny. I'm gonna do it again. That's the mast. No. Oh. Okay, shut up about the mast. <laughs> I'm gonna say it again. It's funny. That's the mast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. That's the mast. <laughs> oh. That was pretty funny. <laughs> uh, right, let's have a look at. I think Winslow put that barrel up there to keep it from rolling around on deck, or to keep me from breaking it. We need, we do need to break it though. We do. Um, right, let's talk to her again. Can't we just agree to disagree? Not gonna happen. Okay, so there's three different places. Up here, over here, and over. I mean, we've got, to, we've got to get that over there, haven't we? It looks like those bits of rope are securing that barrel in place. Can we use anything? Not really, can we? Planks, let's use a plank. Seen seesaws that were better secured than this plank. Oh, really? I wonder if I could... Hmm. What about the map? I think the mean lady trying to cut off my limbs takes precedence over navigating my ship right now. Besides, there's no one at the wheel. Right. Um, get hey, the hands. Get off my hands, stupid bird. Where does the, where does the seagull go if I do this again? Shoot! Get away! So it flies up to there. That's why I need the barrel of fish. I need to cut that rope. How do I cut that rope? Right. And talk to her so that I can go up there. Back off, woman. Never. Okay, so we've got a wheel, a cable. Oh, I didn't see that before. Let's cut the cable. Can hold my weight, but it's about an inch out of reach. Aha! Let's use the hook. Just so it happens to fit perfectly. Brilliant. Ha ha! Try and catch me now. Bet you didn't see that move coming. <clears throat> Yikes! I mean. Out of five Monkey Island games, this is the most action. I'm liking it. I am enjoying it. Let's cut this rope. Was there we that go. supposed to hurt me somehow? Maybe. Did it work? No. <laughs> Dang. Alright, okay. Let's get back up to the top so we can turn the wheel. Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. 
with your breath, I'm sure they all suffocated. I'm liking this Morgan the Flay character. She's cool. Look behind you! A three-headed sea chip! No thanks. I've already had lunch. Oh, that's taking it too far. <laughs> okay, so now we need to do it one more time. Can't we talk this Get to out the top instead? so that we can turn the ship. Nope. There we go. Oh man, if that barrel breaks, Winslow is going to be mad. Ooh, so we have to break it. See if you can parry this. Shoot, I thought that would work. Um, ooh, I think I'm just going to go to to the um to the seagull. Can't we just agree to disagree? Not going to happen. Barrel's gonna fall on the plank. Sorry, She's gonna go flying. I hate to do this to a fan, but you did cut off my hand. What? Uh oh. Ah! You are good, Guybrush Threefoot. Well, I hate to battle and run, but I've got to see a doctor about this hand. Here I come, Captain Threefoot. Where is the lass? A runner through and use her for fish bait. Uh, she's gone. And she took my hand. Quick, let's get after her. Let her go, Mr. Winslow. I've got to find Elaine. Last time I saw her, she was falling into LeChuck's evil clutches. Looked like a cheerful, friendly moment to evil me. Evil clutches. <laughs> evil clutches. We're not clutches. going far with the mast in that shape. The cowardly cutthroat must have released the counterweight I set up to keep the mast balanced. Now it's cracked. It is? It is indeed. It may be just a hairline fracture, but I can tell. We'll have to take it easy until we can get her fixed. Very well, Mr. Winslow. We'll head for the Jerkbait Islands. Right. We can have our mast repaired there. Uh, sure. Also, that's the direction Elaine was headed. I'll steer while you navigate. I mounted the map outside your quarters for your convenience. Awesome, and we're in. Can we pick up this weather vane? The Merfolk weather vane looks good up there. Doesn't do anything useful, but it looks cool. Right, let's go into my uh, my quarters. You haven't been there There's yet. A mess in there. Nah. I'll clean it later. Well, let's just click on the map then. Prepare to set sail, Mr. Winslow. Where do we want to go? Flotsam. We don't want to go back to Flotsam. Rock of Gelato. Jerkbait Islands. Isle of You. Boulder Beach. Yep, alright, let's go to Jerkbait Set Islands. Like for the Jerkbait Islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir, Captain Freakwood. Are we there yet, Mr. Winslow? Hi, Captain. Spinner K, the main epicenter of the Jerkbait Islands. Really? Where is everybody? Hmm. It's been many years since I've been here. But if the city is still inhabited by merfolk, I'd say underwater. Merfolk? <laughs> Maybe I'll meet a pretty mermaid. Eh, well... Uh, you're right. Maybe later. First, I've got to make sure Elaine is safe from the evil of LeChuck. Don't forget, before we can set out to sea again, we'll need our mast repaired. Right, right. We need a plastic pair. Got it. <laughs> Mermaids. Hey, chapter two, the siege of Spinner K. If you're enjoying this, um, you know what to do. Leave me a like, chapter two. Right, we're in. Saving the game. Let's go and investigate. I must say, I am really enjoying this game at the minute. And I mean, tales in total, not just this Hi, chapter. Sailor. 
easy! A big, strong pirate like yourself? Afraid of a little old McKinley like me? <sighs> Sorry about that. A merman? Merman. So, are you a <laughs> mer... That's right. I am 100% proud of Akalian merfolk. Tail kind of gave it away, huh? So what brings you to Spinner K? Um, I'm looking for my wife, Elaine. Yep, I am. I'm looking for my wife, Elaine. She's the most beautiful pirate you've ever seen. With silky red hair and eyes as green as summer grog. Oh, that's so sweet. You know, I think I did see her. She and that other guy arrived about an hour before you did. Oh no. Oh no. Right. You saw Elaine with some other guy? Who was he? Some big jerk? I could probably take him. You know, if I had to. But Elaine is usually okay, right? Yeah, I think so. She went right over to the royal chamber and the guy set off into the jungles with an armful of monkeys. Royal chamber. Got it. I'll deal with the monkey smuggler later. Monkey smuggler. I guess he's talking about the chop. It's a bit weird that he's monkey monkey smuggler, but all right. Ever hear of a man named Dakaba? I'm supposed to show him this locket. You mean crazy sponge guy? Yeah, I remember him. Last time I saw him, he was putting together a crew to go after some mystical sea urchin or something. Haven't seen him in a while though. He used to have a little shelter out on Row Island. Okay, so we need to get to Row Ro Island at some point. Cool raft. Can I ride it? Do you have a pass? Uh, I do not. Well, I can't let you get by on your good looks alone. You're gonna have to get yourself a transit pass. And where do I get one of those? Where can I get a transit pass? You may be able to get one from our chieftain, Beluga, and the royal chain. But it looks like there's some kind of dispute going on right now. Hmm, okay. Do you know where I can get my mask repaired? I sure do. There's a shop right inside our town. Just follow the cave path, and it'll take you right there. Cool. Let's go do I that. Run. Let's go investigate. Uh, no offense. You <laughs> gotta run. So, anemone. Raft. Library sign. Let's have a look at that. Where are you going, Guybrush? He's, he's, he's off, his, off on his way. Give me what I want, or we'll tear your whole town to pieces looking. You and your men shall not have the ancient summoning artifacts. Then maybe we'll move on to your innards and tear those to pieces looking, you overgrown tadpole. Please, calm down. I'm sure we can find a solution that works for everyone. Glenn. Guybrush. Oh, Guybrush, thank goodness you're all right. I've been worried sick about you. First the explosion, then that big cloud of voodoo pox you released from the chuck started infecting pirates all over the Caribbean. That was an accident. The sword was crooked. The spell was misspelled. The breath mints had artificial ingredients. It wasn't my fault. I bet there was a conspiracy. Oh my god! Your hand! What hand? Exactly. <laughs> what happened to your hand? And where is your wedding ring? Uh -oh. Um, well, it happened like this. Arr, I should gut you where you stand. I better get back there before they kill each other. Here, take my ring. Oh, no, that's the one that Just I... take it. Trust me. And don't lose it, Guybrush Threepwood. Oh, come on. Who's absent-minded enough to lose two wedding rings? <laughs> it's me, Guybrush Threepwood. Why do you Shut up, you. Give me the <laughs> Right, so, um... Uh, we've, 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 we've found Lane. Which um, I'm very joyful about. What's this ring? Is that the actual ring from Curse? That's the wedding ring I gave Elaine. Yeah. The um, uncursed one. Oh, the uncursed one. Oh, the one that we went to um, whatever the island was to uh, to get it. Excellent. So we're here in this island, which I forgot the name of already. But I must say I'm really enjoying myself. But I also must say we've come to the end of the episode. But I'm super excited to go forward in this. And if you are as well... Please leave a like, really appreciate it. And until next time, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is you are doing right now. And take care.